Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to teach you guys how to play Shang Wan. Shang Wan is Zata from AOV and you all know how uh, interesting of a hero Zata is, right? So in this video, I am going to teach you guys how to play this one and how she is different from uh, Zata in AOV. If she is easier or harder, if she is better or weak. Let me know in the comments what you guys' opinions are after watching the video. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, just like Zata, whenever she uses two abilities and they collide, it will deal more damage. So, first ability and second ability at the same area will deal another extra explosion which will deal more damage. So, normally if you use first ability alone, so it was what, 600 something and second ability, okay, 1000. But look at it, when it's combined, okay, let it reset okay come on come on reset 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 okay now let's see yeah the collision deals a lot more damage if uh, both the abilities collide in one area it will deal a lot of damage so that is all about the passive one more passive is that every third auto attack will be enhanced and it will deal more damage and it will deal damage to everyone in range okay so these are the two passives of uh, shang one you can clearly notice that there is one passive missing and that is whenever she uses S1 and S2 and they make a collision on an enemy or a minion for Zata his ultimate cooldown will go down by one second right but she doesn't have that okay so that is one weakness now let's talk about the first ability first ability is just she throws an ability and uh, it will deal little damage to enemies that it hits and at the end there will be an explosion which will deal a bit more damage so you have to try to hit enemies from far away if the enemies are very close to you it won't be much effective because it deals only little damage very close now the second ability uh, if you use it a paintbrush will start coming towards your location slowly and it will deal damage to enemies that are in the line so if you, even if an enemy is right in front of you if you use it behind them see it will come and deal damage to them as well uh, so while attacking enemies who are very close to you use your second ability wait for it to come close and when it's almost near the enemy use your first ability to trigger the explosion okay so that is how you can deal damage to an enemy who is very close let's just say an assassin is very close to you instead of randomly throwing your abilities everywhere try to like use your second ability be patient when they are uh, when the second ability is almost about to hit the enemy use your first ability to deal maximum damage that's the second ability and it also has two charges now let's talk about the third ability third ability is really interesting and that is what makes this hero fun and that is she will dash and the dash will be directly towards wherever your movement cursor is uh, pointed to so right now my movement cursor is going towards my area right towards our base so if i click the alt she will dash towards our base if I'm walking towards an enemy, if I click the alt, she will dash forward. So wherever my movement cursor is pointed at, that is where she will be dashing towards. And she can dash up to a maximum of 5 times, guys, 5 times. And in order to be able to dash multiple times, you have to hit an enemy hero with the dash. So for example, if I use my alt and dash on him, my alt will reset. And uh, under my HP bar, you can see that, right? Uh, there is... Uh, one white color thingy that means i have dashed once now i have dashed two times three four five now you have to be very careful when using ultimate because if you use your movement cursor and if you slip and don't hit an enemy your ultimate will just be cancelled and reset so after you get three stacks you will be able to fly okay let's see i'll show you guys that see if you don't get 3 stacks you don't fly but if you get 3 stacks 1, 2 and even if, if you dash away she will still attack. Uh, she will go into the air become untargetable and launch uh, like attacks on the enemy down below. And uh, not only enemy heroes you can also continue dashing on minions as well. If there are minions near you let's just go into the jungle for this. So okay wait. Okay see. Even if you dash on minions or uh, creeps, the ultimate won't reset and you will be able to use 5 dashes. Okay, so that is what you need to know about her ultimate primarily. And one more thing is, 
she can use her ult on her abilities so let's just say okay let's turn on our ult use our first ability see even if i don't hit anything as long as i'm hitting my abilities my ultimate won't reset see and that that's it so you have to either hit an enemy or you have to hit a creep or you have to hit your own abilities okay so let's just turn on minions now let minions come and okay so in the case of zata you guys know that uh, you have to unlock the next uh, dash by attacking three times but for this hero it's nothing like that uh, she is very easy to play just uh, just need to dash on enemies five times so if there are minions like this you can just wait <laughs> i missed you can just go in like this and use your ultimate so it's not as hard as zata and definitely like makes it less fun a little bit in my opinion the harder the hero the more fun it is to play but still yeah so if an enemy is far away okay let me guys give you some scenario so this is the most important part if an enemy is right there you have to turn on your alt take your hand off of your movement cursor look at this a look at the bottom left i have taken my hand off of the movement cursor then turn on your alt first ability and then thus you can attack the enemy directly okay so that is how you can attack so let's just say an enemy is right there i'll show you guys once again what do you do take your hand off the movement cursor click the alt throw your first ability towards the enemy and then pull your movement cursor towards that first ability and you will attack the enemy okay let's just do it once again because this is going to be really hard for new people leave your movement cursor stop touching it turn on your alt first ability towards the enemy and pull your movement cursor towards the enemy and you will be able to dash towards them okay you can also do that with second ability as well movement cursor take your hands off alt second ability okay see we had a problem right there right so what was the problem first ability goes from her towards the enemy but the second ability starts far away and slowly comes towards us so her dash is like this much far right she can dash for a distance of uh, you can see here but her second ability comes from very far away and in order to dash on an ability you have to hit an ability right so if you are going to use your second ability what you have to do is turn on your alt second ability wait for some time to let it come close to you and then dash because if it's if you start dashing immediately the second ability will be so far away that you won't be able to hit it with your dash wait let me do it again yeah see we won't be able to do it but if you wait for some time and let it come close you can actually use the second ability to dash forward and also there is a cooldown on top so as soon as you turn on your alt see there is a blue color bar on top of her head right before that bar goes down you have to dash so you can reset the bar by dashing once so i have the bar now it's about to be over dash see it's reset now about to be over dash 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 and dash okay so keep that in mind you have to use your abilities if you don't do it like if you let the bar go down fully without using abilities the alt will just reset and she won't attack also guys unlike zata the more dashes you have the more attack she will do so if you just do three dashes and okay this this was four if you just if you just do three dashes and then alt ah uh, it's it's really hard to like do the three dashes but yeah if you if you only do three dashes and then use your alt you will be dealing little bit less damage but if you use your dash five times and then if you alt see you attack a lot more you can see the different side one two see that was just like 3 or 4 ticks but if you get 5 stacks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it's like 10 attacks okay so keep that in mind as well so overall she is easier to play than zata uh and uh yeah let me know what you guys think and uh, okay let me give you some more tips okay uh, i i feel like uh, you will need a lot more tips and that is uh, if an enemy is really far away you can do this okay alt second ability dash see 
you can actually catch up to an enemy who is very far away okay so you can uh, like go and experiment and you will be able to figure out a lot more combos with her and uh, yeah she's one of the most fun heroes to play and hope you all have fun with her it's like uh, still one day left before she can be purchased before she is available to play so when she does i hope you all uh, find that this guide helped you guys so that's going to be it for the video guys i will talk about the build and other stuff in future videos right now it was only about the hero and the combos so i hope that was helpful and uh, if if it was please hit the like button to show your support it means a lot to me yeah and i'll see you guys in the next video